Dao Di Jing, Chapters 28 to 36. Dao Di Jing, Chapter 28. To know the masculine and yet cleave to the feminine is to be the womb for the world. Being the womb for the world, never departing from the eternal power of Tao, you become like an infant, once again, immortal. To know the bright and yet hold to the dull is to be an example for the world. Being the example for the world, not deviating from the everlasting power of Tao, you return to the infinite once again, limitless. To know honor and yet keep to humility is to be the valley for the world. Being the valley for the world, rich with the primal power of Tao, you return once again to simplicity like uncarved wood. Allow Tao to carve you into a vessel for Tao. Then you can serve the world without mutilating it. Tao Di Jing, Chapter 29 If you try to grab hold of the world and do what you want with it, you won't succeed. The world is a vessel for spirit and it wasn't made to be manipulated. Tamper with it and you'll spoil it, hold it and you'll lose it. With Tao, sometimes you move ahead and sometimes you stay back. Sometimes you work hard and sometimes you rest. Sometimes you're strong and sometimes you're weak. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. The sage remains alert, avoiding extremes, avoiding extravagance, avoiding excess. Tao Di Jing, Chapter 30 those who wish to use Tao to influence others don't rely on force or weapons or military strategies. Force rebounds. Weapons turn on their wielders. Battles are inevitably followed by famines. Just do what needs to be done and then stop. Attain your purpose, but don't press your advantage. Be resolute, but don't force. Succeed, but don't crow. Accomplish, but don't overpower. Overdoing things invites decay, and this is against Tao. Whatever is against Tao soon ceases to be. Tao Di Jing, Chapter 32. The primal eternal Tao is an unnameable simplicity. Though small, there is nothing under all of heaven that can subjugate it. If a leader abides by it, all beings are naturally drawn to him. Heaven and earth come together in harmony, and sweet rain falls everywhere. People cooperate voluntarily, without any instruction. Tao in the world is like streams flowing into the sea. Tao Di Jing, Chapter 33 Knowing others is intelligence. Knowing the self is enlightenment. Conquering others is power. Conquering the self is strength. Know what is enough, and you'll be rich. Persevere, and you'll develop a will. Remain in the center, and you'll always be at home. Die without dying, and you'll endure forever. Tao Di Jing, Chapter 34 The Great Tao floods and flows in every direction. Everything in existence depends on it, and it doesn't deny them. It accomplishes its work without naming or making claims for itself. Everything in existence is clothed and nourished by it, but it doesn't strain over anything. Aimless, ambitionless, it might be called small. Everything in existence returns to it and still, it doesn't lord over anything. Thus it might also be called great. Because it has no desire to be great, it can achieve greatness. Tao Di Jing, Chapter 35 Stay centered in the Tao, and the world comes to you. Comes and isn't harmed. Comes and finds contentment. Most travelers are drawn to music and good food. When Tao is talked about, the words can seem bland and flavorless. Looked at, it may not catch the eye. Listened to, it might not seduce the ear. Used, it can never be exhausted. Tao Di Jing, Chapter 36 What is ultimately to be reduced must first be expanded. What is ultimately to be weakened must first be made strong. What is ultimately to be discarded must first be embraced. What is ultimately to be taken away must first be given. This is called subtle insight. The soft overcomes the hard. The weak overcomes the strong. The Tao should never be abandoned. Weapons should never be displayed. 